Thanks guys, I'm here at my home school, the Humanities and Communications Magnet at Lincoln High School, and I'll be your guide on a fantastic trip that my classmates and I took earlier this year. When we first arrived in China, it was like being in another world. Yeah, they are going big time. School Zone Dallas is back for a new season with new faces and new issues. This award-winning show also back on Channel 8 this year. School Zone Dallas, the new season begins tonight. John DeLander is the executive producer. He's joined by Erica Hollinsworth and Enrique Guerrero. Thank you and good morning. Good morning. This is high production, great TV, and you, you've been acknowledged. So this is great. Tell us, tell us about the upcoming season. Well, uh, we've got three shows this year. It's going to be on Channel 8 three times. It's going to be on tonight at 6.30 in Place of Wheel of Fortune, thanks to John Eagle Dealerships. We're also going to be on uh, in January and then also in April. And we've got a cast of uh, 10 students from 10 different DISD schools, so we're very excited about the show. And we're going to talk to the students in just a moment because they are really the oomph behind this thing. But, John, I uh, want to ask you a couple questions quickly about the evacuees who are here. Uh, can you please give me an honest assessment? Um, how is DISD handling it? And are there concerns from parents of existing students that now the ratio is going to be off, student to teacher ratio, that kind of thing? I haven't heard that concern at all at this point in time. Everybody's really doing their very best right now to, to deal with this situation. Um, and we, we actually, as of yesterday, didn't have as many students as we thought that we were going to have uh, come in uh, from the hurricane. We had about 265 students yesterday. Uh, I was over there at uh, Reunion Arena and then also at the convention center. And a lot of these students wanted to to uh, just get back into a normal situation, which is school. Um, fortunately, we've got a couple schools that are underutilized that have some additional space, Good. and uh, we were able to, and they're close to both Reunion Arena and Dallas Convention Center, and so we were able to load the students on the buses and take them to those schools. It's gone well. Well, let's talk about the show, you guys, Erica and Enrique. I want you to sort of give this the uh, s synopsis for people who haven't been exposed to the program yet. In just a few seconds, kind of what you're after. Well, this season, we're really trying to just show everyone what we're doing in DISD. We've done a lot of cool things, um, like the China trip. We've done so much, and it's just really amazing. We want to show people how much we learned and what people are doing in other countries. Enrique, do you guys get to have a hand in what's going to, the, the content is going to be? Actually, we do. The, the staff, they talk to us about when we're going to have recordings and the stories, and we do some research on it. When did you go to China, and what did you think about that? When were you there? Well, I went to China last year at the beginning of, the end of January, the beginning of February for two weeks. What'd you think? It was <laughs> awesome. It was a whole nother world. There were so many people and it was freezing, but it was awesome. There was a lot to do, a lot to see, a lot to learn. Did it change your perspective at all, Erica, in terms of what the United States is all about compared to the rest of the world or at least in China? Compared to China, we are really laid back. We have a lot of fun, a lot of free time. And in China, they're constantly competing for top spots in like the career force and in school because there are so many people. Even when they're very, very young, you're saying? Yes, starting young, they're learning English so that they can come to America and get good jobs. Enrique, tell us about the story tonight. Well, my story is about the Dallas ISD Teacher of the Year. We had four finalists. They were Each of them had their own uh, personalities, the characteristics like that um, distinguished them from other teachers and unfortunately we could only have one winner and that was Miss Elizabeth Garrett Bravo. She's a fine arts teacher from George Banner Mandili Montessori mm -hmm. and in her, in her interview she yeah. says that teaching is a passion that she couldn't see herself doing anything but teaching. John, you must be very proud about uh, how this is coming along and here it is on, ch on Channel 8. Um, what can we expect this season? Sort of what, what were you after from a kind of a distance? From a distance, what we're trying to do is we're just trying to explain to people that uh, DISD is more than just the headlines that you're going to see in the paper. It's more than school board meetings. It's more than, um, you know, superintendents. It's individuals at schools. So we've got uh, more than 200 schools. We've got some incredible kids and some incredible teachers, uh, some volunteers that are doing some wonderful things. And so uh, overall, that's what we're trying to do with the program is expose people to a side of DISD that they normally don't get to see, and that's the classroom itself. And then, what are these students gaining from this, what do you think? Oh, well, it's, it's obvious. Uh, they're gaining all sorts of experience in front of the camera. Uh, they're, they're becoming leaders on their campuses. Uh, Erica's running for student council president. She's got that confidence now. Enrique's already the student council president and senior class president at Molina. Um, you know, so all of these students get a chance to, to really shine. And we've even had students go on to get uh, full 
full scholarships as a result of their involvement uh, with School Zone Dallas. Very exciting. It's wonderful to know that's a part of DISD. Real quickly, we're almost out of time. I would like to hear what each of you would like to do when you're a grown-up. Uh, okay. as a grown <laughs> well, as a grown-up, I want to be an English professor and also do theology. I think that I want to write books for younger kids so that they'll grow up and know right from wrong, have a little guidance. Enrique? Uh, I want to go into the acting business. Yeah? Hopefully I make it as an actor and hopefully one day my movie should get reviewed here on the Good Morning Texas show. Perfect. <laughs> well, you know, you can have this job in just a few years and if the acting doesn't work out, you can always become president. D right? he that could. worked once before. Doesn't he look like Ben Stiller? Yeah, yeah, I can see some of that. <laughs> hey guys, thank you very much thank and congratulations you. Thank on you. your success. So you can see firsthand the issues facing Dallas students today. Watch School Zone Dallas here on Channel 8 tonight, beginning at 6.30 after our news. It's going to be great. Thank you. Still ahead, Gary will talk to the director of Sequestro Express, a new foreign language film.